Hello and welcome, I'm Vanelli with Photo Focus. I'm on location in my hometown of Melbourne, Florida at an Applebee's. At an Applebee's. Oh, Monday Applebee's. <laughs> so what we do is we, we do a Monday night Applebee's where we usually have a whole group of people and we sit and talk photography, Photoshop, Photoshop editing, Luminar editing, anything to do with photography from gear to software to shooting. We talk to each other and we swap ideas. Yes. So, Today was kind of a private one, spur of the moment, uh, because I've been so busy doing a lot of other things. So my buddy Jason here is going to Photoshop World for I the am first going time. To Photoshop World for the first time. How excited are you? I'm very excited. All right. So here's a couple things. What I want to do is just talk to people about Photoshop World, especially if it's your first time attending. Now, keep in mind this will apply to any conference. However, with Photoshop World, and yes, I'm prejudiced because. I've been going since 1999. So, where were you in 99? In high school. You suck, shut up. All right, so. No, I don't even think I was in high school yet. Oh my God, whatever. When did you graduate? 05. Oh, shut up. Anyways. So yeah, no, I wasn't even in high school yet. <laughs> so, we've been going since 1999. Thanks a lot. No problem. Okay, so, and over the years, I've built up a lot of great friends and a lot of things we've done. So, with that being said, Let's talk about Photoshop World. You're going for the first time. Yes. And where are you staying? I'm staying at the venue, which is the Hyatt Regency Orlando. Okay, so he's staying at the host at, hotel. Yep. Now, I'll tell you why this is at important. The conference hotel. In, in the past, yes, to save money, I would try to stay at a hotel off site. The nearest one, though, was it's like a mile walk. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so I would do that just to save money. But the problem with that is all the instructors, and everyone attending the event is at the host hotel. So at the end of the night, now, in all seriousness, do you find this is weird that we're here at an Applebee's whipping out a video <laughs> gear and just doing recordings? Do you find it weird? Not now. Not but now. <laughs> the first time we did it, it was very awkward. Right. Now, now I'm just numb to it. It just doesn't even bother anymore. <laughs> well, where's Vanelli's video? Where's because everything's a learning experience, yes, right? Yes. So imagine me doing this here. Well, guess what? There's a lot of other weirdos like that at Photoshop World. You have Glenn Dewis, uh, Dave Clayton, um, Colin Smith. All of us do a lot of the video editing or video um, teachings. So we'll sit down with people like yourself and you'll ask us questions and we'll record it because you may spark a question that the other people and the viewers want to hear yeah. and watch. So what's neat about that is so imagine attending a workshop and, uh, just name one that you have on there. Um, thing on the very first day is three things to help you get more okay, creative Lindsay in Adler. the studio. Um, imagine you're you're sitting down at a party and there's Lindsay Adler, and you just got done watching her class. What was your class on? Three things to help you get more creative in the okay, studio. Okay, so three things to help you get more creative, and you didn't understand something. You ask her because that's what we're there for. So the instructors are there. Yeah, Our time cool. is spent for the attendees. It's not like you teach and then you go hide in your hotel room. So you teach and you talk to people. Yeah. Now, honestly, don't, and please be respectful of the teacher, of the instructor's time. We're teaching all day, we're having a great time socializing. So if you're sitting there having a good time and all of a sudden you want a private one-on-one -on -one lesson, that, that's a little over the top. But asking a few questions is not a problem at all. All right, so let's do this. Okay. You're staying at the host hotel, so we talked about yes. why that's important. And it's important because then you can intermix and inter entertain with other people and the guests. And when you're exhausted, you just walk up to your room, to room. and you're done. Um, not have to walk back a mile. Yeah. Because then you're gonna start to wonder, you know, do I really wanna go to that after hours par party? Do I really wanna go to Midnight Madness? So this is a mm. good reason why you should stay at the host hotel. All right? Yep. So we got that out of the way. Second thing is, you're bringing your spouse. Well, yes. soon to be spouse. Soon to be spouse, yes. Is she in the photography? She is not in the photography. She helps out by, she, she comes to some of my shoots to carry gear, but she, she's not interested in the photography aspect all. At right, all. so so imagine trying, and I asked you, do you want her to have any tickets <laughs> to join? And you said, oh God, no, because that's not what she wants. She, it would just be a waste of time for her, yes. Yeah, she, so, she's just gonna hang out at the hotel and while I'm in the and Which is fine, 
Um, and what does she do? She's a nurse and she also... She's a nurse practitioner and a health and fitness coach. Okay, health and fitness coach. Yes. Now, do you go with her on all the health and fitness stuff? No, stuff? not at do all. Do you want to go with her? Not at all. All right, so, so that, that's the respect all. each other's boundaries. Now, here's the difference, though. She's going to be there. She will be there, yeah. Will she like to attend parties with us? Oh, definitely she would like to go would to Would she parties. like to go to Midnight Madness? Most likely, yeah. <laughs> Would she like to do our Denny's at Midnight tradition? <laughs> so these are things mm -hmm. that you would do the fun things with them, mm -hmm. and then they can see you intermixing with other exactly. people. Exactly. So that works out great. All right, so let's talk about some of the classes. Okay. Now, um, let's browse through. So first of all, what type of, of a photographer are you right now? Right now, um, family and kid, natural light. All right, keep going. What else? Because you, you also told me... I know, oh, I know Jason yeah. well. He's one of my interns. Oh, so. so I just started doing senior pictures. Um, really? So the correct terminology, you're a generalist. Gen general, yeah. So let's look at some of the classes you personally would want. Okay. So here's um, day one. This is day one. So it's broken up into different groups. So yep, photography. So just look at the time-wise. Yep, so, so what's the first time? Uh, 12 o'clock, it starts on Thursday. All right. Or, and so you yep. have a choice between... So you both. have... Uh, so for Thursday at 12, you have the three things to help you get more creative in the studio. Um, and then you have a Photoshop, the power of color grading. Color, okay, so that's for mood, this. atmosphere, and impact. You have a Lightroom, uh, hidden tips and tricks for Lightroom, Photoshop, and beyond. Gotcha. You have design. Um, how do I do that in, in design? Okay, so, so in design is going to be, um, that's, that's a... That, that's a layout program. Like if you want to create a book, create uh, ads. Okay. Yeah, I've never heard yeah. of InDesign. So go on. Uh, landscape and travel. Um, the landscape of awe. Okay. And then that's it for the okay. first day. All right. So perfect. So, that, so that's the first day. Mm-hmm. Right. So let's go back to the time. So of those, which one piqued your interest? Um, there's a couple different ones that I wouldn't mind. Pretend I split you, <laughs> and I made a clone of you. Which one? Which ones are you excited to speak? Um, I would definitely take the Lightroom, the hidden tricks okay, and tips. Okay, Brian. That's um, one. And then I'm interested in the studio stuff, so I might do the get With creative Lindsay. in the studio. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so here's what's going to happen. No, I can't make a clone out of you. I know. However, this is what I've learned over the years. You make friends. When you get to Photoshop world, you make a lot of friends. So in your case, you're going with myself, mm -hmm. Richie. Richie, yep. Now, you're also going to Kim. Do you remember the mermaid on the beach shot I did? I do remember that film. Good. So, Kim was the powerhouse behind the creativity with oh, that. Wow. Oh, cool. So, Kim is coming. My copy editor, who makes me look really intelligent when I write, <laughs> Diana, she'll be coming. Okay. Richie Acevedo, uh, his brother, Nick. Yes. I call him Acevedo 2.0. I'm not saying that he's like the younger, more... Um, improved version? That, that's what Richie's mother says. I, I didn't say it. That's what Richie's mother said. Uh, you're horrible. So his brother is coming. So you already have a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. Kim and my buddy Ray, they kind of took over for what I'd done. So what I used to do is I would get strangers, not people I knew. Mm -hmm. I would hook up with a bunch of strangers and say, hey, you go to Lindsay Adler's class. Okay. You guys go to Brian's class on Lightroom. And then this group here goes with Glenn Dewis's class. And then we all get together on the break and we share each other's notes. And then at the end of the night, we ended up going to every single class because each of us would go and take notes down. That's now awesome. here's what's also, what you're gonna love, Photoshop comes in the old days. I wonder if they're still doing it. We call it the telephone book. Mm -hmm. It was a really big, thick, thick, thick book filled with all the class notes. Oh, wow. I do know we have the digital version of it. So if you missed the class, let's say you, let's say you were alone, and for whatever reason you're a loner, you don't feel comfortable making friends with other people, which you should. If you are a loner and you're that type of person who feels intimidated, come see me. Trust me. I'll make sure you guys have friends at Photoshop you will. World. You will. I have no problem having you meet up with friends and doing different things. So, but do you see what we just did there? Yeah. So now you got the best of Lindsay's classes, and then you got the best of Brian's classes. Yeah. Um, and that worked out great. So that's day one. Let's yep. see day two. Day two starts at 8 a.m. Uh, we got. Oh, I'm so light. sorry. Go back to day one. Okay. 
So with day one, there's more classes. Yep. All right, so then yep. so the next class four to five, is four to five, yeah. Which is a oh, Lindsay again. So yep, so it's Lindsay again, uh, the posing pitfalls and how to fix them, which is definitely one that I want to go to. Right, so that's one. Um, for Photoshop, we have the complete guide to sharing your photos. Great. Or, or sorry, sharpening your photos. Sharpening your photos. Um, Lightroom, we have retouching portraits. All right, who's teaching that class? Uh, Christina oh, Christina Sure. Okay. Sure, sure. Uh, in design, we have... Terry White. Yep. Okay. The Creature Online Portfolio with Adobe Portfolio, which I use Adobe Portfolio, so that wouldn't be a bad one to go to. Great. Um, and then Landscape and Travel, Travel and travel Photography with Scott Kelby. Okay. So, again, you're sitting there trying to choose between... Two different ones, Which yeah. ones do I need? That's where that whole teamwork comes in, mm -hmm. right? And, and so that's the neat thing about, again, going as a group and talking to people. All right, so let's see what's the ending. So the next one, we have 515. Um, again, Lindsay Adler uh, from Good to Great. Um, Good. Let's see here, Photoshop. Marcus, oh, the color. Yep, so there's uh, how to hide stuff using Photoshop. Oh, okay, so Dave Cross is one of the gurus of um, Photoshop, so he does yep. great jobs at probably hiding stuff in Photoshop, like removing objects and blemishes. Yep. Uh, so Lightroom uh, photo restoration using Lightroom and Photoshop. InDesign is selection edits and masking. Oh Good. my. How do you like how, don't you like how they. I do. I do like how they broke it up into different categories. In the segments, right? Yeah. So you know what, tra so these are considered tracks. Mm -hmm. All right. Next. Uh, landscape and travel, creating depth and composition for landscapes. Awesome. And then that's it for all of them, except for there's one more for Photoshop at 6.30. Uh, color science from pop to post. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so that was day one. That's day one, yeah. And that's so also day on day already. one, now first of all, on day one, we didn't talk about was the keynote. Mm -hmm. So they do the opening keynote in the morning and that's just absolutely, yeah. so uh, I think, it's always entertaining. I think that's watch. actually down here at the bottom for special events. Good, so well, let's look at the special events. Yep. Okay, so the opening keynote is always exciting. Yep. Uh, Scott always puts on a funny, almost like a Saturday Night Live skits, and it's hilarious. And that's where you'll learn new, what new software is coming out and what new things are happening in the in the world of mm -hmm. editing and uh, photography. All right, what else happened that night? So there's a lot of special events going on during right. the day. So. All right, here, uh, perfect, right there. How? Okay, let's back up for a minute. So, okay, I, what we missed out on was the day before Photoshop World begins. Mm -hmm. They have what's called pre-cons. Oh, I didn't so know that. So a pre-con is, let's say you want to do a special class with Dave Black. You want to do a special class with, um, uh, oh, uh, Tim Wallace. So those are separate. You okay. pay extra for those classes. But the classes that are free, as Larry Becker does, which you should go to, is... Um, the introduction to how to get the most out of Photoshop. Okay. So he gives, so he, t he brings all the new people together, and it's a free pre-con where Larry goes through the benefits of. And that's on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so we have that. Then what else we have going on that day? Um, there's actually a portfolio review you can pay extra to go to. Great. So you heard about the classroom stuff. Mm -hmm. This stuff here is on the showroom floor. Uh, or, or, so, okay. Yeah, so this, or, or the pavilion. Yep. So these are extra stuff that are free. Okay. You know, except for the portfolio review. Yeah. So you can decide, so in between those classes, you can take a topic on, right here, so the copyright. Copyright laws and right? effects. So, yep. in, so these won't conflict with what's going on in the classroom. That's nice. So if the classroom is going on, in the middle of a break between one class to the other, mm -hmm. That's when you'll take that's one of these classes. Okay. Selling your photos on uh, Adobe Stock. You remember my buddy Matt Hayward, mm -hmm. the guy I talked to you about Adobe Stock. Mm -hmm. So he is Adobe Stock in my eyes. Okay. Um, he started out as a, an event photographer on his own, and then he did such an incredible job, Adobe hired him. That's awesome. Uh, to promote and evangelize about Adobe Stock. He can answer every question you need hmm. on, on Adobe. The man is just absolutely incredible. So, plus, he's a phenomenal photographer. 
All right, so that's great. So these are extra, and you can just go through those on your own. Yeah. So the neat thing, what I'm getting at is, while the classes are going on, Dinner there's the other stuff happening. There's other classes going on in the in the pavilion, but not at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now you hit on one last one. Here's mm -hmm. the part your your fiance is gonna love. The after hours party. Yep, the after hours party. A lot of times, I'm not sure if Scott's gonna do it this year. Let's see. Is he going to? Scott yep, Kelly he is. Yep. And so, play Electric Cat. Did you know that he plays in a band? No, I did not. Yes. So like Gary Sinise has his band. Cool. Scott Kelby has his band, and so what's neat is a lot of the instructors mm -hmm. go up on stage and go, those that play. That's awesome. Now, I hope Colin Smith is here this year. Colin Smith jams with David Lee Roth. I mean, how cool is that? That's pretty cool. So think, think of a bunch of creative geeks that are also creative geeks in music. Yeah, yeah that's us. Well, not me. <laughs> I, you know. So, all right, so that's that was now day two. Day two special. All right, so we're gonna bomb through some of the stuff in day two. Just let's just look it over. All right, so that's the second day, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. And we'll just go through some of this. Okay. But on the second day, isn't that? That's the midnight. Oh, piece. midnight madness! Why is that so cool? I'll do the pre-show of the midnight madness. Oh, are you so really? So think of the crazy stuff I have strangers do over here, right? Oh yeah yeah. yeah. I get to, I get to be turned loose. On about 200, 250 people, and I get to get, I get them to do stuff like Oreo cookie challenge. Who Frank Dorhoff, regrettably, I have to I have to say this because you know us, Team USA, we were defeated by Frank Dorhoff and their team. But the Oreo cookie challenge is you open up an Oreo cookie. Mm -hmm. What's inside? The stuff. Oh, the delicious creamy fill. You want to eat it? Oh, you can't. You have to put it on your forehead. Tilt your head back and just use your face muscles to bring it into your mouth to eat it. And whoever does is the winner. And of course, they win prizes. Now, could you imagine going to a stranger and having them do it? Uh, and here's the best part they do it. Of course, they would. <laughs> so, Midnight Madness will do a pre show, and then um, Scott and the rest of the team take over and they do just as much crazy stuff on the inside for the show itself there. And then at the end of that show, it's kind of a tradition. Mm -hmm. um, and you see how it starts at 10 to midnight? Mm -hmm. Well, in the old days, it used to start at midnight. That's why they called it Midnight Madness. Mm -hmm. But it didn't get That's over until 2 in the morning. Oh, wow. And so the instructors were dead the next day. So we start at 10, go to 2, or go 10 and go to midnight. But then I take a group of people out to Denny's at midnight or at the hotel. They, they have a good breakfast mm -hmm. at the hotel. Oh, yeah. And then we take about maybe 30 or 40 people and we just take over the the fun. restaurant and we have a blast all right. there all right so then the final day wrap well, up you still got all the classes too. yep well the classes have, so you guys get the idea about the classes they can look them over on their yeah. own yeah and then but use the concept of what i just said pick people sure. to go with you and then the last day the only difference the is the keynote. Day. yep so not the keynote i'm sorry the, the ending wrap up the wrap, wrap up yep so at the end they go through the wrap up they give a lot of they give away a lot of prizes at the wrap up, and they just talk about what they've earned, what people have um, learned, and what to expect from this point on. So, right, how excited are you? I'm Scale very from excited. one to ten. How about fifteen? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're going. Yeah, I'm and, glad we're going too. And it's deep because I do have quite a bit of my my team coming. Yeah. And the, the reason why I do that is you'll notice it, and it's neat because a lot of the instructors will comment to me afterwards. You know, uh, Richie, my buddy Kevin, the other ones they helped out last year, and a lot of the instructors have been out. Is that Richie guy one of yours? Why do you say? Well, because I needed something set up, and all of a sudden I look over and there he is setting it up for me. Or I needed stuff carried from one place to another, and I noticed your team does that, and that's what you guys do. Yeah. Which, which, which is why I like having you guys go to these things because they do this for me all the time, and that's why it's important for educators, you know, and instructors to, to, to take on interns. I mean, the amount of knowledge you're learning. Oh, it's ridiculous. There's, so, there's no way I'd be where I was at right now without without you. Well, thank you. And, <laughs> you know, and it seems like Michelle, I hope I can get Michelle to come to this. My, uh, she's from Quebec. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. So, so Michelle, her. and now, ready for this, Michelle, I gotta tell you this, 
Michelle is one of the writers now for Photo Focus. As of this month, April 2019, guess what? Her stats have beaten mine. She passed me. So Michelle, congratulations. Brian sent me a message the other day. Now, Branch, it's only the 15th. Yes. So you better keep writing because, you know, I may be down, but I'm not knocked out. No, it's a competitive thing us photo focus authors do mm -hmm. is um, the number of views you get throughout the month on all your articles. And Michelle has been really just, I mean, off the charts with her, her article write, or with her writing That's on awesome. sports photography. That's awesome. So hopefully Michelle will be there too. And I know Richard Harrington, um, possibly, I can't guarantee, Mike Cabasi may be there. You guys like Cabasi because what does he always do? To uh, he picks on you just as much as you pick on everybody else. <laughs> and so Cabasi and I developed a friendship over the last 15 years um, or longer. So Cabasi is one of the guys who I turn to when I need something. So, Art, do you have any questions? I do not. Good, so you're excited? Yeah, I'm excited for a lot of these classes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right guys, so I'm Benelli with Photo Focus. Hopefully I'll see you guys at Photoshop World.